So you're never going to guess what showed up today. That's right. I got my first DJI drone and it's the mini version, which is under 249 grams. Obvious reason to get this is because it's below the legal requirement for a lot of things here in Canada. I'm going to try this out, take it out, and hopefully, hopefully it'll last longer than my last drone did. We're not going to talk about that anymore. Let's get to the unboxing. Okay, so I have this box. Now it's ultra light, 249 grams, but this box definitely feels heavier than 249 grams. So we're just going to take it apart and show you what comes in it. So first thing you get is the drone itself. And it's pretty well packaged. There's like, I guess, what's this? It's the front, back wings, there's a instructions here on the back. There's the gimbal camera in here, pretty good. Put that right there. Next in the box, we put here, we have, whatever this is, instruction manuals. And we have flying drone, I guess the instruction manual, disclaimer and safety guidelines, responsible flight, something else in French, something else in different languages, more languages, and what's this? We are here for you. So I think one of these has got to be the Nope. There we go. Quick start guide. <laughs> so there's a quick start guide in here. One comment. I guess that's the quick start guide. The only thing here is it's saying you have a cable that charges both the charger and the camera. I guess there's a USB port. Yeah, there's a USB-C port on the back of the camera, the drone. All right, cool. So a bunch of paperwork I will read at some point. Probably, maybe, we'll see. It might tell me how to fly the thing. All right, what else do we have in the box? Next in the box, if we tilt it up here. I'm kind of getting lower in the box. We'll see if we can maybe pull up here. Is some cables. Oh, not just cables. I guess this is extra fans, blades, I guess. Uh, not sure what that is. Little things. Cables. Nope, okay, there we go. Cables. Um, USB 3, or USB C, sorry, to USB C and then micro. USB, okay, cool. Um, micro USB to regular USB. So I guess that might, those are charging cables. And this is a tiny screwdriver. Okay, that seems to be it for that. All right, we're back into the box here. And whoop, we and that is it. There's a little silica gel in the back. Is there anything underneath that? Second. Last but not least is the controller, and it's definitely the uh, the weight. Like this controller, like the drone weighs like nothing. The controller weighs quite a bit, and I suspect that's because the uh, controller has. Oh, okay, I see now. These are spare. I guess they're control stick knobs. All right. So yeah, this is the controller. You pull it out that hopefully that's gonna have enough room for my phone right now I'm recording with my phone so I have to try that out and then I got to figure out how to get these control knobs out and then the drones here let's just uh, over here carefully oh, <laughs> carefully uh, remove these little stickers all the way around Back here, that one came off pretty easy. All right, and then last but not least, there we go. All right. And it says here, 
one, one, and then I guess two is like this. There we go. There we go. And we have a drone ready for liftoff, I guess. Well, I could probably have to charge batteries, so. Um, look at this thing here. Try to get the little knobs off. And I'm assuming it doesn't matter which side these goes on, but assume side A goes with side A here. There we go. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna charge the batteries um, with the USB-C cables that it came with this whole thing and uh, see if we can get this to fly. Okay, so I'm back from the maiden flight. The battery is pretty much depleted. Um, as soon as I start beeping saying like, you know, low battery, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna land it. I probably could have flown for another three or four minutes, but I was like, mm, do I really wanna risk it just deciding that the battery doesn't exist? And it's like, thump. So yeah, uh, this worked really well. I'm gonna have to definitely do a little bit more practice. Um, these controls are very sensitive not so sensitive if you're flying like really far away doing big panoramics but if you're like like left right like they turn really fast so i'm wondering if there's a little bit of pnid i can do on this to sort of make it more my style of uh, feedback on the control um and that was filming it in normal mode there is cinematic mode and sport mode and i'm not sure what this button does and i'm not sure what that button does yet um, this says function on it and this here this might be like a return to home uh, flight thing. I don't know. Um, there's also this uh, scroll wheel on it here, right there. Um, it's got a thing. So this might be like the video thing. Um, and then there's a photo button on there, but I just used the app and tapped it. Um, so I'll play with it a little bit more, but as I just have the one battery and it's depleted, I'm gonna have to recharge it. Uh, would getting more batteries be a good idea? Probably in the long run, but you know what? 30 minutes of flight time is actually quite a bit um, for somebody just starting out. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. And uh, yeah, overall it's pretty good. It's, there's a grass stain on the back. You can see it right there, yeah. Um, it decided that it would land in the grass rather than my little platform. I missed it by a little bit, but that's okay. Um, quite happy, smiley. And now, so let's look at some panoramic images I took during the drone flights. Now, this did require me to stop the recording of the video as the drone would automatically take a series of photos and then stitch them together in the app. Whereas the photos are stored in their raw format 
in the drone files themselves. So just important to note that if you do want them stitched together automatically, you have to grab them out of the DJI Fly app. So at the end of the day, I'm really happy I got this drone. At 249 grams and 31 minutes of flight time, this is a nice beginner drone that I can go out and fly with, try a bunch of stuff before I want to drop real money on a big drone and go through the whole process of getting the specific uh, pilot licenses required for those bigger drones, especially here in Canada. Although in the US, I think the rules are starting to get a little bit closer to what we already have up here in terms of allowing you to fly drones of larger size and also location. This guy here, super happy with it. Expect to see a lot more drone footage coming up as I fly this guy around. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. If you're still not sure what drone to get and if you're not sure if you should get this small little drone, again, if this is your first drone, this would be a good pick. Let me know because I'll happily try to give you the answer below. I've done a lot of looking at drones and capabilities and the fact that this little guy here does 4K at 30 frames a second and 2.7K at 60 frames a second, which is actually what I shot all that footage at. It's a no brainer. Go for it. You'll be happy. Thanks for watching, clear skies, and uh, yeah, be sure to obey all local laws with flying drones because there's a lot of them. Quite a bit of reading was required. Goodbye.